Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Image Fields plugin that we've been working on. And I'm going to go ahead and install it and show you that it adds the custom fields um, when uploading an image. And then I'll explain how or show how it displays that uh, image citation within the post. All right, um, first I'm going to upload the plugin here. I'm in the Add New Plugin screen. And I got the zip file on my desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload that right now. And upon activation, what it's going to do is create those fields so that when we upload an image to a post, those extra fields are going to be present. And I already grabbed the image here. Um, it's a CCO license. That means I'm able to use it in a commercial setting. and able to make modifications to it. Okay, so let's go to Okay, so here I'm going to click on add media like you normally would when you're adding an image or of course the featured image and I'm going to click on Upload Files, Select Files, and I'm going to upload the one I downloaded from here, which is this image here, the strawberries image. And on the right side, you'll see that there's extra fields now. Um, we have the image name, the source URL, author name, author URL, license, and another box for miscellaneous information. All right, so we can get that data um, from the website that we downloaded from. So I can see in the title here that this one's called Red Strawberry. So I'm going to go ahead and call it that. Here's the URL. The author name. The author URL, right click, copy link address. Again, that's a CC0 license. So I'm going to insert that into the post and then save as draft. And now, besides providing the extra fields for the image, this plugin also displays the citation below the post. So when we view the post, we can actually see the credit for that particular image. So you can see here the name of the image and it's linked to the actual image URL, which is this one here. And then again to the author URL and the license URL. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ.